Hidden paper clips are a great way to decorate our journals, our altered books, and the things that we currently work on. They tab our journals, they decorate our journals, but I haven't found a pattern or a template for a hidden paper clip that uses an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. That's what I use to gel press. So I'm looking for something I can do with my gel press prints. My name is Peggy. Let me welcome you to my channel and show you a little bit of what I do. I worked around the dimensions I saw on other videos trying to get the dimensions correct for my gel press prints. And here are the hidden paper clips that I created. Some are flush cut, some hang off the edge, some have a grommet, some just have the uh, paper clip pulled up a little higher. So you can use a dangle off of the edge. So there's, you know, several ways that you can use this and I put together quite a few from I think I used two to three sheets of gel press print paper and got a whole jar full of hidden paper clips my olive jar full as a matter of fact so it'll be a moment and I'll I'll decorate that jar but not right now so here are the gel press prints that I created I have a video on creating the gel press prints too this is what I have done with them so I did these gel press prints two ways, one um, drying in between layers and one kind of wet on wet. So they all came out pretty similar. And, um, you know, it's just a matter of, of your preference on how you want to print. So let's talk a little bit about that pattern. So here is the pattern that I put together or the dimensions. So you score it two inches, four inches, and eight and one eighth inches. Then you flip your piece of paper over and score it at six. This is for an eight and a half by 11 sheet of copy paper or um, that US typewriter weight paper. So let's just get out the scoreboard, get out a piece of that eight and a half by 11 inch paper and we're going to score it at two inches, score it again at four, score it one more time at eight and one eighth inch. Now once I get those three scores in, they're going to create three valley score scores, and I'm going to flip this over and score it at six inches, and that will be my mountain, that will be my peak. So I have three valleys and one mountain. So now that I have the scores, I'm going to pull out my trimmer and I'm going to trim it at one and a half inches. This will be one paper clip. Now I'm going to lay that down and for every valley I'm going to fold that toward myself and the mountain I'm going to fold away from myself. There's the valley at two inches, the valley at four inches, and the valley at eight and one eighth. So I'm going to fold those up towards me, four inches up towards me, eight and a quarter. Well, we'll flip it over and fold the mountain peak down and then the eight and a quarter up. Now that mountain peak is where your paper clip's going to go.
So let's grab a paper clip. Slide that on. And you just fold over. Now you have like a little match box or a little match, you know, like a match pack. Remember when, when you got matches in those packs? And there you have it. So it's pretty simple. Now, if I want that paper clip to come up, I'm going to go to that fold, that piece that you fold over. And I'm just going to cut a little slit in there. So there's a little slit for that paper clip to kind of pull out. So let's do that. Just want to define that fold. Now I'm just going to take my X-Acto and score a straight line. I'm going to put the paper clip back on. Fold that over and then pull that paper clip out. Now you have something that you can tie your sari silk on. You can hit a dangle off of. I think this is my favorite um, kind of rendition because it, it still is flat to the top of the book, but you can put the sari silk on it, you can put a dangle on it, and it I think it looks really nice on a on a page. Now if you want it flush, you just put that paper clip down. So there is that very simple pattern. Now let's just put some together. So this is my gel press print, and I did the same thing that I did with that plain white copy. Now I'm going to go in and just decorate it up a little bit more. So I have my crocodile out, and everywhere there's a corner, I'm going to go ahead and do a one-quarter inch cut on that. And I think that makes it look neater, a little more refined, if you will. And now to remove that white edge of the white cardstock, I'm going around the outside edge with Vintage Photo and just inking it up. So now there's that mountain fold paper clip. I'm going to get some glitter glue, glue my paper clip kind of in place, go around the whole area, making sure I get close to the edges. And now I'm going to fold that over, make sure it's lined up, glue the other side. Secure it down, and now fold that flap up. I'm going to ink once again, just to make sure there's no white bleeding through. And there, there's a good start. Now you can go back and decorate any way you want. You can add lace, you can add postage stamps, you can add any type of ephemera you want on these. I am just creating some rather plain ones to have in stock, and then when I get ready to put them in something, I'll kind of decorate them appropriate with where I'm placing them. I'm just marking where to cut here on this one. This one I'm going to pull the paper clip through. So I did the fold just exactly like we've done in all the others. I'm going to cut that fold over piece so I can pull that paper clip through. I 
I don't think I cut the slit quite long enough, so I'm going to go back and once again, just kind of, not kind of, I'm going to make sure that that slit is long enough. And now I'll just push that paper clip up and make sure that it comes through. And before we, we do that, I'll pull that back down, put some glue on, and then push it up after I, I have some glue in place. I forgot to ink, so I'm going to go back and ink up those edges. I don't like those white edges of that cardstock showing, so I like to ink it with either black or vintage photo, brush corduroy, um, depending on what screen or screen print, what um, gel press print I have. I'll choose my ink accordingly. I think I have a green, a set of green that I pull out the citrus, twisted citron. Now let's just put the clip on, put some glue in place. Fold that over, pull that out. And then glue that fold over in place and that holds that clip where you want it. And just glue that flap up. Once I get to this point, I like to slide them onto, you know, a piece of file folder, a book page, or anything, just to make sure that none of that glue seeps out and glues it together. So if you don't see me do that, know that that should be done. And now that I have the paper clip exposed, I'm going to just tie some sari silk on the clip. And we'll call that one complete for now. Now on these clips that we have just created, because of the size of the gel press and the size of the piece of paper, there's that little piece of white at the top, the little piece of white at the bottom. While that doesn't really make a difference on the top portion, it does on the bottom because you can see that folds up and folds over. So rather than leaving that white, I have chosen to get out a old book and I am cutting some wording that I can adhere to cover that little white spot of paper. Now, there's, there's a couple of things that you could do. Number one, when you're doing your gel press printing, you can make sure you get edge to edge on your 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. I didn't do that because I thought I could come up with another way to cover that white paper. And this is what I have chosen to do on this particular make of these hidden paper clips. So I've cut out the wording that I want to utilize, and I'm pulling out the crocodile quarter inch round on the bottom corner so I can tuck that up to the edge of the paper clip. I'm going to glue that into place. I have my nice words there at the bottom of the clip. These clips, with that, they'll lay nice and neat, won't catch on anything inside wherever I put them. So I kind of, I kind of like this version, like this. And I'm going to do that on each of these and just continue to find words that I want until I get this gel press print completed. I've pulled out some liquid pearls and I will decorate with my liquid pearls, a dot here, a dot there, a line here, a line there, whatever suits your fancy when you have those liquid pearls out to decorate up the end of that clip or the edge of that clip. We have the clips completed. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will use and try my rendition. This is not the right way. This is probably not the best way, but it is a way that I chose to do it today. And I hope that it helped you use those gel press prints to create some hidden paper clips. So thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you again very soon. And I shall say bye for now.